Okay, here we go. We're going to talk about today about generalization and inferencing. What gives us cause and effect? And there's two main things that we've talked about in our one section of experimentation and sampling is we talked about random samples and random assignment. And whenever we do any type of um, random sampling, we're getting a, we can generalize. Okay can generalize for, to the population or whatever we're taking a random sample from. When random assignment, random assignment refers to experiments, okay, and that gives us cause and effect and effect, okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to be going through a little um, example of experimentation where we're going to say students claim that listening to music while studying will help improve their GPA. So there's designing of studies that occur. Here are four proposed studies to investigate question of the day. Suppose we found that the mean GPA, so the mean GPA of students who listen to music, all right, is significantly lower, all right, is significantly lower than the GPA of students who didn't listen to music while studying, okay? Um, so people that listen to music with significantly lower GPA than students that didn't. So essentially, it did not go to this. So we're gonna say, what conclusions can we draw and what generalizations can we call? And it determine if there's any causation. So first off, we get all the students in our stats class to participate in a study. Ask them whether or not they study music or uh, divide them into groups based on their information. Okay, so we just took all our students. Was it a random sample? The answer is no. Was there a random assignment treatment? The answer is no. Because there is no no, all we can do is a correlation. All right, we can see if there's a relationship. And there appears to be a relationship between what? Well, just the students in our stats class, okay? Between the students in the stats class that listen to music while studying, and what do we know? And the other correlation is between having a large GPA. That is the generalization. So no generalization, no um, cause and effect. In the second example, what we have right here is we select a random sample random sample of students from your school to participate in a study, ask them whether or not they study with music on, and divide them into two groups based on their answers to the question. So was there a random sample? The answer is yes. Because of that, we can do a generalization. Um, was there a random assignment? The answer is no. So there is no cause and effect. All right. So this is observational. So um, there is a generalization, generalization to the population. The population right here is of this school. And so there's a correlation between, and because there's a random time, there's just a correlation between students in the school that listen to music while studying and lower GPA. And that's what we know. So notice how these are two different things. This one correlation of students in the stats class, and this is students in the school, all right, because we use a random sample of the school. Well, let's check out the third one. It says, get all students in your stats class to participate in a study. Randomly assign them half of the students to listen to music while the other um, for the entire semester and the remaining half abstain from listening to music while studying and find out what they do. Well, is there a random sample? The answer is no. So there's no generalization here. Okay. Is there a random assignment? The answer is yes. All right. Yes. And so what conclusion we draw? Well, at least with students in our stats class, okay, um, the listening to music does um, give us a and a lower GPA. I put higher here. Let's change it out. Um, gives us a lower, all right, GPA, and that's what we know. Okay, um, and so there is a cause and effect, and while that is essentially the correlation, is a cause and effect. The last one is we're going to select a random sample. Okay, a random sample of students in your school. Okay, so this is a random sample. And we're going to randomly assign them, all right, half the students that listen to music while studying for a semester and the other half not listen to music. So there is a random sample. So we can generalize to the population. To pop, which in this case is our school. And there is random assignment because we can do cause and effect. And so the question is, what is this? Well, we can say that students in our school that listen to music while studying score a, not a higher, but a, lower GPA. All right, so there is a cause and effect between um, listening to music while studying and lower GPA. And that is what we noticed. All right, so the key thing 
Whenever you're trying to figure out generalization and cause and effect is really look for what is being randomized. If it is a random sample of a population, then you can generalize. If it is a random assignment, we can offer cause and effect. If we do one or the other, we can have one or the other. But if we have both, all right, then we can both generalize to a population and randomize. All right, or sorry, random assignment can cause to cause and effect. Hope that makes sense and hope that provides you a little bit more insight when you're um, looking at different studies. All right, good luck on the rest of your problems.